Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about the most versatile beauty product ever, Vaseline. And this stuff, there are so many uses for this stuff. It says, like, the actual directions on it says, Uses. Temporarily protects minor cuts, scrapes, burns, tempor temporarily protects and helps relieve chapped and cracked skin and lips. Helps protect from the drying effects of wind and cold weather. Now, everybody pretty much knows that. Um, a lot of people use this on their lips, you know, on their elbows, things like that. Um, and I'm going to tell you all the uses that you may not have thought of that are all beauty related. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is all for your face. Um, the first thing is obviously you can put it on your lips as a chapstick or a lip gloss if you don't have any with you. Um, also, if you are um, somewhere where you don't have a lot of lipsticks, like if you're traveling or something and you want a different lipstick, you can um, kind of mix in a little bit of eyeshadow with it and then it creates a new lip color which is really nice because then you can have a whole lot of lip colors on one. Um, the other thing is, and I thought this was kind of cool, what you can do is you can take a little bit of it and mix it with Kool-Aid and then it's kind of um, a colored lip gloss that's flavored too which is kind of cool. Which I'm not saying like you should go out and like eat this but if you mix it with a little bit of Kool-Aid, um, you know like say you use like red Kool-Aid, it'll give kind of a red tint to it and it also will taste good which is really nice. The next thing you can do, and it also goes along with that kind of like flavored lip thing, um, if you take a little bit of it and put um, put it in one of those like little containers that you put like loose eyeshadows and stuff in, and you put a chocolate chip and then just put it in the microwave not for very long and melt it, and you can mix it together, and then you have like a chocolate lip gloss, which is also like a flavored lip gloss, which is really cool. Also going on the face, we're going to kind of go towards the eyes. What you can use this for, obviously it's a really nice moisturizer. You can dab a little bit of this and put it like under your eyes um, and it makes a really nice kind of night cream. I wouldn't do this during the day just because it'll make like your eyes underneath your eyes kind of shiny and the next thing that you can use this for is for your eyebrows and your eyelashes. Now um, what I would say is at least for me what happens to me is the ends of my eyelashes kind of um, get worn down because they're dry and so they kind of flake off and then my eyelashes get really short. So um, what you can do is take a little bit and just run it on the ends of your lashes and it'll keep them from breaking which will make them longer um, because they're not breaking as much. Um, now, like, I would be really careful. Like, I wouldn't put this, like, on the base of your lashes. I know a lot of people do, so I, I suppose you could. But um, I would be really careful so as to not get it in your eye because I'm sure it, like, will irritate your eye and burn your eye and stuff. So... Um, the next thing you can do is um, on your brows and it kind of can be used as a brow gel. So what you can do is use this and put this on your brows and kind of shape your brows how you want them before you pluck them or before you um, kind of define them with your powder or whatever you're using. And it just kind of keeps your brows where you want them and it, and it cleans them up really nicely. So. What you could also use this for is removing makeup. So you could take a little bit of it and just kind of dab it and get it off. Like if you have mascara smeared or something, you could get it off with this, which is really nice and it's um, it's not going to irritate your eyes like rubbing it off would. So. Now I'm going to talk about Vaseline in your hair. Um, what you can use this for is you can take a little bit of it and put it in the ends of your hair and it'll keep the split ends from showing. I know in between cuts sometimes there's some... Um, just pieces like random layers and stuff that get really damaged so you can take a little bit of it and just kind of run it to the ends and it keeps it from frizzing out and keeps the slit ends from showing. You can also put this um, around your hairline. I know so if you um, self dye your hair um, you can get dye on your skin and stuff and it's really hard to get off so if you put a little bit around your, your hairline it'll keep the dye from getting on your skin so that's kind of cool. Okay what you also can use this for is for moisturizing and I know that um, a lot of people know that you can use it like on your elbows and on your knees and stuff like that. A really good way to use this is to put it on your heels, on your feet, to slather some on your heels, and then wear socks to bed because it holds all the moisture in and will really moisturize your feet. And I know in the winter my feet get really dry, so this is a really nice way to kind of treat your feet while you sleep so that um, your feet don't feel as dry. You can, uh, as I said, you can put this on your knees and your elbows, anywhere that's dry. Um, I like to do that at night just because um, your skin absorbs most moisture while you're sleeping, so it's kind of nice to do. Um, you can also use this around, like, if you're giving yourself a manicure, you can use this, like, around your cuticles, and it really makes your cuticles nice and soft, and I know mine get really dry, and then you get hangnails, and they just hurt, but you can put this, like, on your knuckles, and then, like, around your, um cuticles around your nails and it's just a really nice moisturizer for your nails and you can do that like I do that all the time like while I'm sitting and it's a really inexpensive way I know there's a lot of like great salves and stuff um and um just cuticle creams and stuff like that that work awesome but this is so inexpensive and it's really nice to use that for
use it for that. So the last couple of things that you can use these for is if you get a ring stuck on your finger. I know um, sometimes it can be really hard to get off, so if you rub a little bit of this around your finger and then um, twist it around and get the um, Vaseline under your ring, it'll slide right off, which is really nice if you're in a jam. And I carry this everywhere. This is mine. It's just kind of a little one, and it has like a little pop-open lid, which is really cute. And then the last thing, which I thought was kind of cool, I hadn't thought to do this, you can take a nail polish like this, and if sometimes my nail polishes are really hard to open, Open because stuff gets on the neck of them so what you can do is take Vaseline and just rub Vaseline like all in here on the neck of the um, nail polish and what it does is it coats it so that if you first off if you do get nail polish around there it won't it'll be really easy to get off because there's Vaseline there and secondly it'll keep the lid from getting stuck which is kind of cool because some of mine like I have never been able to open again even with like pliers because I just can't get them open. So it's really nice if like right before or after you use the nail polish to just put it on the neck of it and then it'll keep your nail polish from getting your nail polish head from getting stuck. So so that's it for my Vaseline video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you have other ideas of how to use Vaseline, um, list them below so we can all see them and I will talk to you soon. Hugs!